First of all, ignorance of the law has never been an excuse. You will not be excused just by claiming that I did not know that this was against the law. Ignorance of the law has never been an excuse. Second, there's absolutely nothing wrong with the recruitment processes into Ghana's armed forces or security agencies. It's a very clear process. They announce it. Um, they have platforms where you go online and fill applications and uh, apply and go for screening exercises publicly done where our colleagues in the media have an opportunity to report even about the numbers of people who applied and those who got in and those. So there's nothing wrong with it. Some persons in this country always believe that you can find some, some way of bribing somebody, some, some, some protocol arrangement, and go undercover and get something beyond the norm that is on the table. So if, first of all, ignorance, ignorance of the law is not an excuse, and secondly, your excuse is that I heard that if I pay a bribe of 500, I can get into the military. So I went to pay a bribe of 500 or 800 CDs, hoping to get into the military, and I ended up in a training camp of some secessionist group. I'm not sure which judge is going to listen to that and say all of that embodiment amounts to an excuse. I don't, I don't, I don't foresee that happening. So in one breath, there's nothing wrong with the processes for our recruitment, people should bear in mind that this is the process I go through it. I get people who come to me on a daily basis saying that I hear there's some protocol for police or military and that if I pay X or Y or I'm willing to pay X or Y to get in. Just a few days ago, I had to walk somebody out of my office because he came and says he's had there's some route and if you pay something, you can get through. We in this country often like some of these methods and that's how come you get into troubles like this.